hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are good guys today we're going to be reacting to charlie kick explains why liberal women are miserable guys let's go right to this men are turning more uh we're proven to be more right wing more more uh, conservative, but the women are suffering out here. So I would like to know. Um, I'm involved with TP USA, and I want to know what it is that I can do when I'm around women um, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, which I'm battle born in this battleground state. And I would like to know what I can do uh, to start to change minds with love and. Why do you think women are are so liberal? You know, it's I, I watched you on the on the, the whatever. Yes. Yeah. And it's it's crazy. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's just it's it's so hurtful to see, you know, how they are sexually and how it's just so, you know, OK. And I think that a lot of them are suffering. And I think that, you know, there's a lot of father issues there. A lot of daddy issues lot for of daddy sure. Issues. Yeah. Um, so, look, I, I, I'm not an expert in how to win over young women for conservatism. Um, the biggest thing is this more young women need to get married at a younger age and start having kids. The, uh, the single woman issue is one of the biggest issues facing the civilization. Yeah. We have more single women in our, the early 30s that are the most depressed, suicidal, anxious, lonely in America's history because there's a biological clock that's going off and they realize that they're not going to be able to have kids and that they're not as desirable in the dating market or in the dating pool and so they start to lash out on the rest of society so date like you're gonna marry i guess that's gonna well be yeah just get married early like stop reject the siren song of modernity and have lots of kids Absolutely. like being a partner at a local law firm actually isn't that big of a deal having three kids is a really big deal and will make you happier and it's okay to be a stay-at-home mom in fact we need a lot of stay-at-home moms and a lot of women want to be stay-at-home moms and we have miserable women because we've been shuffling them into a corporate wasteland when in reality a lot of them don't find a lot of passion or fulfillment in that line of work and who can blame them yeah, exactly thank God you. Bless you appreciate thank it you so thank much. you yeah so guys i mean like i've watched a lot of clips of like the whatever podcast i've seen charlie and candy and trust me the way the women think i just feel pity i as most times i feel pity for them i feel pity for my own generation because our mentality these days is you know a whole lot especially when it comes to like their sexual life the way they are so okay with everything that's happening they just feel it's normal it's not normal please i mean you guys should you know check on my channel and watch the um i think yeah, something that has to do with, you know, daddy issues, Charlie Kick with some girls, like, on whatever podcast. Guys, it was a whole lot. I mean, this girl, I'm not talking about that now. I'm going to talk about this. I feel like, you know, a lot of women should change their mentality because right now, there are a lot of women that are just like, oh, I just want to, you know, enjoy life. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. I want to enjoy life too. But their own aspect, they're like, they just want to enjoy life. They don't care about marriage. I mean, Getting married to a guy, you just, um, it's more like, uh, you know, like being in bondage and everything, you know, having to give birth to kids. You don't have a life anymore. You just live for that family, you live for your husband, you live for your kids. And, but I, like, there's more to marriage than that. I mean, I have watched people's marriage. I mean, I look, I look at my own parents' marriage and I see that my mom is able to do whatever she wants. You know, even when it inconveniences my dad, she's able to do what she wants. But most time when they want to do something, they tend to consider their kids. They tend to consider their husband and see that whatever they are doing is not going to, you know, affect them negatively. I don't know if you get. I also have a friend, like a friend, she's young, she's married. She has, she does even like her third kid. And I've watched her grow, like I've watched her grow. And you see that she's able to do what she wants. See. She goes out partying, but when she's coming back, she doesn't stay out so late because why? She's married and like, and she's doing it because like she wants to do it. She goes out whenever she wants. She doesn't have any restrictions, but she has the mind like she could come back so late if she wants to. But because she has that mindset that I'm married now, so I will enjoy myself. But I also have to remember that I have a husband and I have children waiting for me at home. So she comes back, you know, at a reasonable hour. Just the same way she does whatever she likes. She cooks, she makes sure that everything is home for them before she leaves the house. And most times she takes her children out with her and then she comes back, you know, at a reasonable hour not to keep them out so late, knowing that they have school tomorrow. So, like, you could make your marriage fun. It doesn't have to be all boring. It doesn't have to be you just living for them. Like, you could do your own thing. But when I feel like 
marriage, most marriages that like are still standing today is based on the couple's understanding. So like if you guys have, you know, the perfect understanding, you guys understand yourself, you know that you have to be reasonable when taking, when making some decisions. Because whatever decision you're making as a married woman, man, you have to, you know, make it like you have to know that it's not going to affect your husband negatively. It's not going to affect your kids negatively. And it's also make like, you just make decisions that will make you happy. But while making those decisions, you have the mindset that, oh, I have to consider my husband, I have to consider my kids. And see, we're happy. Like, you're happy. Like, I just feel like a lot of women today need to change their perspective, what they think. And then a lot of women are, you know, dating guys and they just want to jump from this guy to the next guy to the next guy. They don't even see. I feel like dating someone should be fun, yes. But that fun, you should have, like, a future to it. If you were in a relationship two years, three years, four years, you know clearly that this relationship is not going anywhere. Cut it. You are wasting your life like you're wasting your time. And that's how I see it. You're wasting your time. You know, I had a friend that was in a relationship for five years. And honestly, she saw that this relationship was going somewhere. So she stayed. But at the end of the day, the guy cut her short. Like when she was expecting marriage and everything. Like... She, she told me herself, if I had known this was going to happen, two years I would have cut it off because I just wasted five years of my life for a man who didn't even rate me. So that I feel you are there, you know very well that, let's just face reality, all of us, you know very well that this relationship is not going anywhere. We end it. But most women, they don't care right now. They just want to be there. And once it ends, they move to the next person without, you know, having a future or anything. All they want to do is enjoy life. Please, let's just, you know, we women, let's, you know, let's just change our mindset. Let's plan for a future. Because trust me, it will get to a time when you'll be like, you really want to have kids, but you can't anymore. Or you want a family, a happy family. You can't anymore. And then you become so desperate and you just fall into whatever trap that is open for you to fall into. Guys, please, tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you think about our present day women. Don't forget to also like, subscribe to my channel. Love you guys.